Presenting is one of the most valuable lessons that anyone could have. Whether you're presenting in a boardroom, in a lecture hall, or in front of possible investors, it's such a worthy tool to possess. On the Heavy Chef hot seat today, we have Don Packett, who is the CEO of Missing Link, a South African company that specializes in helping businesses and individuals become better presenters. Don, welcome to Heavy Chef. Thank you. Thanks for having me. First things first, tell me about the art of presenting. What, how did that come about and why are you particularly interested in it? So I joined the business uh, when I was young and fresh and knew nothing about presenting really. I just wanted to um, follow a mate of mine's dream to help people deliver messages to live audiences as effectively as possible. I knew that by uh, engaging and consuming all kinds of content, whether you're reading or watching movies or music and stuff, you are enlightened, you are made better in some way. And I was fascinated about being able to take people on a journey um, in uh, closed environments, in whether it is a sales pitch or a large conference or whatever it is. And um, yeah, that's why I, I jumped on board and, and we've been on this journey ever since. So Missing Link, your company, is basically responsible for educating South Africans, well, business owners, on how to present. How did that come about and, and why, what do you think sets apart Missing Link as, to, as opposed to all the other companies that do presenting? So uh, what makes us different is we do it very differently okay. to most people. We don't generally look like your normal presentation people. Uh, we act differently, we speak differently, and we also question a lot in terms of how people are normally uh, delivering messages. There's been, there are fundamental flaws with how people deliver content. Uh, and there's a lot of myths in terms of uh, what makes content good or bad that we've debunked. Um, and we teach that. And once you, you know, it's like you don't know what you don't know. And when you do know that stuff, it just makes mm. life a whole lot better. So this is what we do with, with presentations. We help people see the good things. We help them see the bad things. And when you've got that combination and a good structure to be able to build that, that's where the magic happens. And would you say that presenting is a vital tool to have for entrepreneurs? Absolutely. I think for the most part, entrepreneurs have the biggest thing that they do have is a good story. Or should I say the biggest thing they should have is a good story. Because often they'll come with an idea or a product or a service that is good, but maybe it's not articulated well. Mm. Uh, and our job is to help people like that understand that your story matters. And if you can get people to buy into your story, and by telling a good narrative through a good structure, uh, you'll get what you need to get. And in this case, entrepreneurs need to get customers or funding or investment, whatever that may be. And so good story, and if you can differentiate yourself through a good narrative from everybody else, is vitally important for entrepreneurs. When you go into these um, different businesses, what are some of the topics that you touch on to help you know, people be able to present a little bit better? So uh, every presentation is written before it is created, before it is delivered. So we make sure that people understand that process. Often people will get uh, stuck in the creation part of it first. Let me make it look good before really, really focusing on the writing element of a presentation. That's the structure and the narrative of how the story needs to be articulated through. Right? So we make sure that people can understand the difference between those three different areas. And once they know that, that's then there's the structure. So you write it up front. We have mm -hmm. a, a methodology of how we help people build their presentation. And it's split up into four different areas. You need to start every presentation by giving people a reason to care. Yes. Why should the audience be in the room in the first place? Why should they care about what you're about to tell them? The next part is giving them a reason to believe. And that is about why are you the person to be delivering this? And that's whether that is creds, whether that is research search, whatever that may be. The third part of it is telling people what they need to know. And this is where the, the content comes in, the information of, 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 of your, your story, right? Whether it's, it's how the product works, what it's going to deliver, all that kind of stuff. And finally, it is when you tell them what they need to do. And often people uh, get caught up with it and say, well, what they need to do is they need to give me squillions of rands. Okay. Uh, but it's not that. Sometimes they need to ask, the audience need to ask a question of themselves where the result of that question will be, okay, so if the answer is X, then the uh, next part of this journey is that I need to give this person money, for example. Mm. And people get stuck on that because they, they, they uh, work on the wrong victory condition 
of their presentation. Your victory condition is your true north. It's where you need to drive that whole story to the okay. end. And if you can articulate that victory condition for yourself first, building that presentation is a lot easier. So that is the golden formula to be able to present. Yeah, for sure. Listen, so we, we talk about it works for almost every single presentation in the world just so we can cover our own basis but i'm still yet to find a presentation that hasn't been run through that format or that has been created that we haven't been able to put through that format to make it better it took us a long time to codify our own methodology of what we do and how we do what we do Every presentation uh, before we created our methodology was built on intuition of how we, how we should create the narrative. But what we realized is that everything was being flown through the same journey and taken through the same uh, format. Uh, and we just were able to make it a proper structure. And now what we can do with that structure is teach other people on that as well. It's not just sitting in our own heads, which is uh, for me, on our missing links purpose of saving the world one board audience at a time doesn't mean that that we have to be in the room all the time helping people everyone around the world is doing better Don, tell us how missing link started so my business partner is a guy called richard mulholland he used to be a rock and roll roadie for bands like iron maiden and Def leopard and all these international artists that came to south africa to perform and Artists come to the Southern Hemisphere in summertime to perform and then in wintertime they'll go to the Northern Hemisphere to tour there, right? Summer. People in bikinis, all the rest of it, half fives, smart guys. So in winter, we didn't get a lot of international artists coming. So uh, Rich working at this, um, uh, this uh, big company at the time, doing staging and lights and smoke machines and lasers and all the rest of it, went to his boss and he said, dude, I want to uh, go to some new markets to try and sweat these assets that we have. And uh, he went to two markets. Firstly was the, um, uh, or in particular, firstly was the rave market, because apparently when you're so high on drugs, you don't feel the cold. Uh, and then second was a corporate market. And he went to these guys, these big CEOs of large organizations and said, dude, I know you're doing these conferences, but they're bland and boring. We want to make them rock. We want to make you a rock star. And that's what they did. And they were doing the lights and the lasers and the smoke machines and things hanging from the ceiling and people swinging and all the rest of it. CEOs walking down the aisle, high-fiving their staff as it goes along, getting to the front and just shouting, give me a standard, give me a bank, give me a standard, give me a bank. And everyone, oh, man, it's amazing, it's amazing. And then he would stand up and say, thank you, and then click to the first slide and then start boring the hell out of everybody with just a bad message. And Rich was sitting at the back and thought, well, I'm, I'm solving the wrong problem here. We put all this beautiful stuff around it, but the reason, the main reason the people in the room in the first place is broken. That CEO was supposed to deliver a message that activated his audience and he wasn't doing that. So Rich started Missing Link to help that. It wasn't about the fluffy stuff around it. It was about the message itself and building that strategy of the presentation, helping people deliver that to their audience. Don, in closing, what is the one tip that you could possibly give to entrepreneurs who want to know how to present um, to an audience or to possible investors? So the biggest thing that we, that we teach people is the difference between a USP, which is a unique selling proposition, and a UPS. And our UPS is a unique problem that only you can solve. Oftentimes people come in and they try and sell an idea that already exists. It might be a little refined here, it might be a little better there, but for the most part it's not really, really taking it to the next level and finding that problem. So if anyone who's trying to find funding, investment, or just trying to get people to buy in to a certain principle, a new idea or a new business that they're creating, you need to find that UPS. What is that unique problem that only you can solve with your particular product or service? And once you find that, mm. you build that narrative and you sell the hell out of it. You tell every man and his dog about the story because also the more you tell the story the better your story can become the more comfortable you get with the story and then you'll be able to tell that story in all different kinds of audiences and make a difference so your job is to mm. activate that audience and achieve your victory condition well there you have it you've heard it from the man himself don packett the ceo of missing link to find out what's happening in the heavy chef community or to find out about our future events simply hop on to www.heavyshef.com